Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the next installment of B Movie Theater. Now, I struggled to try to figure out the perfect movie to talk about, and of course, as you can see by the title, I am going to talk about literally one of the most foul and stinkiest movies I have ever seen in the history of cinema. Monster. To basically explain part of the plot, it's so bland and subpar that you'll laugh at it. It's about an escaped convict that apparently goes into like a storm drain, storm drain or sewage system or something, and he dies. This mass murdering psychopath dies, and so this pharmaceutical company gets rid of all these deadly wastes, all these deadly chemicals, and pours them down the sewage. And this guy's corpse is disintegrated, and he just so happens to be in a giant pile of excrement, so his body is dissolved and morphed into a giant shit monster. Literally, he is a monster made of fecal matter. Uh, uh. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Now, sorry about that. My brain was popping and I was almost seizuring out. Anyway, as a anyway, yeah, that's that's how bad this plot is. And basically, all this guy goes around. There's even one scene from the movie. I think it's still here on YouTube, where a guy and his wife. His wife makes him unclog the toilet, and he is basically killed by by Monsterd, because Monsterd basically comes up out of this dude's toilet like the fl like the gigantic turd that could not be flushed. I'm not joking. Find clips of this movie on YouTube and watch it. It is the worst scripted, most horrendously acted, and on top of that. The creature itself, the costume, just every single, you know, all pun intended, it looks like pure ass. It looks like they took styrofoam and attached it to, like, really hard, like, rubbery, like, I don't even know what to call the texture, but all I know is that they took packing peanuts and they must have sprinkled it and glued it to this outfit and then painted it brown. I just, I'm sorry, I can't take this monster seriously. This is a, this is a movie that's kind of like the Jack Frost films and like Gingerbread Man, and it's even on the, and it's even on the same level as Thanks Killing. It is such a retarded concept that you can't help but laugh at, but, but laugh at what the filmmakers must have been thinking in trying to make a monster movie. But then again, I guess at the same time, to be fair, I guess they were trying to make a movie that was really vulgar, obscene, and disgusting. And bravo to the filmmakers because they did exactly that. They created a movie. They created a movie that that had that it it doesn't have a cult following. It is just an infamous B movie. Like, when I first saw this, I thought, are you kidding me? They made a movie about a shit monster? Now, being the twisted SOB that I am, I thought, I have to watch this, because I'm sure it's going to be really hilariously bad. And indeed, this movie this movie should be put on a pedestal next to Thanks Killing, and to, in terms of probably the most horrendous and laughable B-movie concept ever created. Seriously, the blob is more dangerous and deadly and I can take more seriously than monster. And that's saying something cuz the blob is a giant thing of fucking jello. Anyway, I'm sure I'm bashing this movie to shit, but there is a good reason. <laughs> I just realized that I made a shit joke. Anyway, seriously, just Talking about this movie, I can't help but make nothing but really bad shit puns. It's like talking about Batman and Robin and making nothing but Arnold Freeze jokes. This movie is literally bad. 
is just so bad. It's so bad that it's entertaining. This is a movie that if you really want to watch something really bad, something laughable like Tommy Wiseau's The Room, then this movie is definitely right up your alley. Because this movie, it has no plot. Literally, there is no plot other than, oh my god, there's a psychopathic killer and he's been turned into a living shit monster and he's going around terrorizing suburbia and, you know, he's killing people by f pulling them through toilets or, you know, killing them by literally smothering them with, you know, his shitty body and... And plus, on top of that, the acting parts of this make me laugh because there's a scene where they have a dead body and a deputy sheriff... Now, normally, in the world of acting, if you're playing a deputy sheriff and you're about to throw up, you would turn your head and throw up. Well, apparently, it must have been a blooper that they kept in or something because he throws up right on the prop body. This movie looks like it took only, like, maybe, like, one month to make. Like, I've seen a lot of movies that are low-budget guys, but I want to say holy shit, but I'm not going to. But, just, my god, man. The budget must have been, like, what, like, five or ten dollars? But, nevertheless, despite me sitting here, crap, you know, crapping, and I'm not even going to hold back, you know, despite me crapping and shitting and everything else on this movie I will admit as I said it is very entertaining if you're bored one day and you want to watch something so obscenely bad that it makes you absolutely pee your pants laughing and makes you feel better that you're not the only quote-unquote stupid person in the world and you know what I want to find the director of this movie and I want to shake this guy's hand because kudos to him for making probably the worst movie in cinema history. Seriously, Ed Wood's Plan, you know, Plan 9 from Outer Space is a lot more entertaining. And I haven't even seen that movie. And I know I would probably enjoy it more than this movie. Literally, the only redeeming quality of this movie is just laughing at how bad the monster costume is. Beyond that... This movie is a piece of shit. It's a piece of ass. It is every single pun that I can think of in the book. And I really, really recommend that if you are someone that can handle shutting your brain off and watching a movie like this, then I got to give you props because I honestly couldn't sit through the whole entire thing. I really couldn't. There are some levels of retarded that I can handle. This is on a level of retardation that even I can't stoop to. But despite all the bad things, I will end it with this note in saying, if you want a good, fun, horrid, you know, literally horrible B-movie, then this movie's right up your alley. Other than that, I would recommend that you highly avoid this movie. I would highly, highly recommend that you avoid this, just to keep your own sanity. This is the kind of movie that would make you go on a homicidal spree, just because it pisses you off so badly. But that is it, guys. Look forward to my next B-movie theater, and I will actually have something less shitty. I'm sorry, I had to get one more jab in there. But that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And, you know, try to have a good day.